Ew, what is good? My anniversary, what is good, you know? So, with everything I have been noticing in this week's episode of By the, uh, by the Grace of Gods, I have been really uh, letting people, as many people as I can, know about this show. And I think it's worked out, kind of. <clears throat> but that's ultimately what this channel is about. I feel as if... Um, if you don't end up talking about things, I apologize for all the cars in the background. Anytime I start a video, people just happen to show up. It's like a, a daily ritual thing for me. But with how they set up this whole entire laundry business and how easily it's like taken care of, not only just taken care of, but really showcased how much trust how much you know like people actually believe in this boy to really have things settled and figured out um we get to see the perspective of people who don't know him who don't have any idea why an 11 or year old is supposed to be you know head of anything let alone a place taking care of you know, grown folks, clothes, and having new types of stuff never heard of before, things like that, where you're kind of just baffled by what they're implying. And because of this, we see much of what uh, we've already known, you know, about this show is not not only is it pretty much a slice of life, but it really is getting to a point where you don't know if they're going to go slice of life route or if they're going to just straight up continuously give us, you know, new things to learn about this whole entire world as a whole. Um, but when they do finally showcase what they want to get across and then they just start vibing with it you can tell the show is done with care and love uh just by the way they treat this character and give him such potential to be an amazing person not only that but ridiculously rich for all the things he's put up with in his past life and to think that he's you know He's honoring that. He's actually wanting to, you know, make sure people aren't mistreated and feel any way that he ever got to, had to feel. That's the type of person, you know, you want in your life. And that's the type of person you want looking out for you. So I think the two uh, twins found that out very, very quickly. Um, not only did it give them the incense or the the sense of like we need to work for this person we judged him by his age we judged him by how he looks like now it's time to you know show this boy that we pretty much can put up as much good stuff to assist as you can you know so Really, I'm looking forward to what they're going to end up doing with these characters at the end of the day, because like I've seen uh, many times, certain shows kind of, you know, get into their rhythm of how things are, and they most likely don't ever really change from that, unfortunately. Um... But when, when they do start to change, when they, for instance, we got to see, uh, this guy's pretty boring. We got to see a lot of what, uh, oh crap. Uh, sorry, <laughs> that guy just went flying past me. I don't know where the heck. Uh, <clears throat> but we saw what a lot of these people were capable of, and instantly I was reminded that they have been setting us up to understand that he is just someone 
of you know technique and skill that has never been seen in this world so to think that uh, Venom Punch okay to think that they would continuously showcase uh, who is really the top dog in the case of him being just capable of starting businesses being capable of you know handling everything that goes on in uh in the dungeons you know taking care of he heals people he does everything you pretty much imagine and i think that's kind of the point of him being so much better than uh i expected when it comes down to this being pretty much a slice of life show right like you don't normally get a slice of life show and it's just straight up giving you the character doing absolutely everything right sometimes they need help but in this week's episode it did feel like he needed some help but not so much where it's like oh yeah if, if he didn't have these people he would have never made it not to mention he would actually give everybody that credit uh, when it comes down to just his personality in general, he has no problem, uh, you know, giving credit where credit is due type of deal. And I think that's also one of the best uh, aspects of his character and of his arc in general of him growing. I really got to take down these snipers, so don't mind me. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm dead! Everything is looking quite uh, good for what i'm seeing in this show i definitely want to hear what you guys are thinking i honestly have not gotten good enough as spider-man to be commentating <laughs> and doing reviews so uh this is definitely a work in progress here <laughs> overall i like i said before i don't think there's many things this character is going to do that's going to make me dislike the show necessarily um, I do think some people are going to get tired of slice of life stuff, but let me know if that is something you're interested in. Like literally we just watched a character run a business and on his first day and saw him and he got swamped, right? Like that was the whole entire episode and I really still enjoyed it. So that's the whole point of if you can do that type of stuff and make it enjoyable then why not continue to do so well, with all that being said everybody i hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i am your boy the anime g and i will definitely talk to you in the next one peace